There's been a lot of changes going around here lately. Our view from the old farmhouse is about to change drastically. It looks like a subdivision. Hey, done. The old dodgy homemade punch. He hasn't gone for over two years. It is dodgy, but it's got one good thing going for it. <laughs> That's that there. The motor. It's the most important thing in your boat. Anyway, we're going to go and do some fishing. Not only the landscape is changing around us, but a lot of other things too. And as time progresses, uh, I'll show you guys what's going on around the old farmhouse and the homestead. But uh, for now, it's fishing. And I also just want to extend a bit of an apology to my subscribers. I disappeared for quite a long time. I had a delayed grieving process to the loss of my nephew, Mikhail, and it hit me, hit me hard. It was a bit of a tough year last year, and I never had time to really go through that process, so I just took a wee break. First break in over 10 years from YouTube. Right, I'll stop the yabbering, and we'll go fishing. That's where we're heading. These traffic lights have been up since the last slip from the last big flood we had. Currently in the North Island, it's a bad state of affairs. The cyclone's done a lot of damage. It's not looking flash. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to everybody on my Hello, channel. Everybody. Say g'day. <laughs> it's uh, the, the mountain bike lady herself. She took me once up, uh, where was it? Monsters? Kaiteri. Yeah, Kaiteri Terry. And uh, she taught me how to ride a mountain bike. So if you're looking for someone to coach you how to mountain bike, do you do just, just woman still? I bet it I'll run the red light then. No, don't run the red light. <laughs> Normally you would, eh? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't yeah, do no, that. No, all, 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 um, no, kids, women. Kids, women. I do it all. And the, the occasional dodgy pig hunter. Pretty much. Yeah, nice to see you, Emma. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking strong. Looking great. Feeling great. Yeah, we're going fishing. Oh, yeah. nice. Absolutely impossible to keep up with that woman. Not a chance in hell. Welcome to Grossy Point. The water temperature is about probably 19 degrees, I reckon. That makes it possible for there to be kingfish out there and even tuna. Not that we're going to go out deep enough for tuna. But possibly a kingy. We're going to be aiming to get kahua today. Shit, I love Hondas. The very first pull, and she just kicked straight in your life. Woohoo! This feels pretty good. It's been a long time since I've taken the old girl out. I love this boat. Poor oh, Toe Lure just on the way out to the channel. Just in case we get a hit, you never know. I'm going to put a stray line out. Just a bit of squid. Hopefully this is my Duke Star rod, it's a cracker for catching uh, kingfish, it's a real grunty one, that's it there, Duke Star International, and I've got this big bloody winch, Maxill Reel, uh, it can handle the channel if you get something big on it, I've caught some kingfish on this before, I uh, broke all my Taikabora rods, I had three and they all broke, and good old Duke Star, they, they helped me out and sent me this one over here, they reckon this one I won't break. It's a slightly different one, but it seems to go pretty good. Now we'll see how we get on. A couple of hours later, and no fish. No takers on the junkie jig. Barely still going. It's a 3 kg and there's still some left, but uh, nothing on the stray line, nothing on the junkie jig. It's the Falcor. So my rule is if you're not catching fish after a certain amount of time, change the pattern. So I'm going to try something a bit different. My mate, uh, Mark Rudolph, Mr. Junkie Jig himself, he sent me these, Green Warrior. I'm gonna stick some on and, I don't know, see how we go. Well, we've got a bit of a tangle. We've had a couple of uh, light hits and one bait looks like it's been taken, so we'll carry on using the sabiki. That was good. Finally got a fish and it feels like a little grim maybe. Oh, we lost it, have we? I oh, know, it's still on. Maybe a little kawaii. Yeah, it's running like a little kawaii. Just up there, there it goes. It's a tiny little kawaii. How about that? Oh, jeez. Nah, we'll put him back. Put him back. See you, buddy. Pick up for another day. So we got hit by a kawaii then. Hopefully bigger than the last one I released. It's running like it's bigger. There you go, buddy. He's a little bit bigger than the last one. They do work, Sabiki. You know, he is bigger, definitely. We'll keep that one. Just going to hug him like that. And there's the bloody hook in my leg already, just like I said. Didn't want to get that. There you go, mate. You're going in the bin. Yes, you are. Ah, not without spiking me first, eh? Yeah, it's, a, it's enough for a, a feed for one man. I might give that one to my brother to eat tonight. Right in the bin. 
won't show you how I kill it because it's a bit gory without the knife, it's breaking the neck. This is always a really beautiful place to come back into, just magic. This is my wake of my boat, just come in here, a lot of fish out there. When it comes to building stuff in my eye, there's only one that builds it right. Ladies and gentlemen, here's, here's our, here is our. On the way to the place. Hot work, eh? It is a bit warm. We're yeah. sheltered by the wind here. The other side of the house is good. Yep. So we'll put a screw in there. Oh, yep. So it doesn't fall down. That's a good idea. And the clamp holds it in. Mm. Byron doesn't have to sweat trying to hold the thing at the right height. Safety first. <laughs> Hi. Guilty. Right, braces. I drill them because even though they're self-drilling screws, yep. they can split the timber. When it comes to building stuff in my yard, yep. there's only one that builds it right. Ladies and gentlemen, here's, here's up, here is up. Awesome. That's the process of a post going up. Man. Yeah, and it should be rock solid. And if it's not, I'll be here tomorrow and I'll have to fix it up tomorrow. The concrete in the hole, not a good idea. So where well, you've got, a, are you gonna put a bit of dirt on that or you just leave it? Huh? So concrete goes right to the bottom. Yep, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've got a minimum of 100 mils of concrete underneath these. Oh yeah. We've actually got about 140. Yeah. Just the way it is, so, because we've gone over depth a bit. They're all about 700 mils deep. Yeah. So we've got plenty in there. It's a high wind zone. Yeah. Usual story. You can always, the digger just spends about another 20 seconds in each hole. Yeah. And that's probably another 80 bucks worth of concrete. Yeah. But it's another 100% worth of peace of mind. So yeah, yeah, totally, mate. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, no, solid as. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, team. Right, guys, we're going to see where um, Byron have got up to now. What's the site? Oh, she's looking uh, a bit different than what it was here just half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it was about an hour, wasn't it? It was, probably. Yeah. So we laid down this in the right place. Yep. And this is basically, you could say, the foundation for the piles. Now the piles are going to end up probably being cut to here. Right. I did order 1.8s and they've sent me 2.4s. It's often the way it is, whatever you got in stock, you know. Right. So we'll have a decent off cut because we're probably going to want to make a walkway. At some yeah, point. yeah, no. So Good for that. We got that. That's Can you cool. see? So um, when you've got this set up, it's really easy. You know, we put a screw in the pile. Yep. At the right height. Byron holds it there. I clamp it, drill it. We've got this to brace off this way, this to brace off this way. Right. When the concrete pump pours, this pile doesn't move anywhere. Yep. You know? Yep. It's pegged along, 6 by 2s pegged all the Brilliant. way along. Brilliant. So it's just like, I'll come tomorrow when the concrete pumps, he said about 1 he's going to pour, so I'll be here at about quarter 2. Yep. 
I'll be here if something moves, which I don't expect to happen, but I yep. do need to be here. Yep. I can't ask the guys filling the holes up to yep. fix something if something moves, you know. Right, she's all go. Concrete truck's arrived. Tell us what this machine is, mate. It's a um, concrete pump. It's an old line pump. Oh, yeah. Instead of like a boom pump on the back of a higher, just on the ground. So it's real handy for so it just gives you like a pump pumps the concrete from the track just to the back site. And takes it where the line is, which oh, yeah. big higher ones are tricky to get into places like this. Yeah, right, yeah. They Perfect. only got about 15 to 30 metres reach. Right, eh? You can sort of get about 60 to 120 on this. Okay. So it's got quite a few pounds per square inch pressure, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, no, the Holdens, they're, they're quite tinny though, but they are yeah. a really nice wagon. Really good on the open road in that, eh? Whoa! Oh. oh, it's good timing. Wasn't it was it? good timing, yeah. <laughs> By the time you ran and did it. <laughs> I thought you might have a little cup on the end of it you can open and shut at this end, but that wouldn't work, would it? Because you've got the power going all the time. No, we just, yeah. we just yeah. need Bluetooth, like Adrian said. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you just stay there, that's fine. We can be the middleman if you want. Oh, he can hear us. Oh, yeah. Yep. That'd be quite heavy to hold, wouldn't it, mate? Nah. A bit of weight, no? Nah, nah, it's just a wee two inch. It's, um, it's a bit different when you're holding it up high when you're doing block lifts, but... Yeah, right. Nah, this, this is nice and easy. I'm not sure what song I'm going to sing about the concrete man with the pump. <laughs> I guess if he's, he's uh, holding a two inch uh, hose in his hand, you could probably write something about that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something. I don't know if it'd be good. No, no, it wouldn't be good at all. No. Two inch black hose. <laughs> <laughs> the white one's bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you later, Al. Good to see you, mate. Keep up the good work. You too, mate. See you later. <laughs> One happy man, that boy. Look at that. Just like a new one. Yeah. Time for beer after a pour of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> the way the Australians do it. Is that right? Yep, yep. Actually, uh, the guys I used to work with, they'd do a slab. Yeah. I'd, if they did my job, I'd have to turn up with a big low alcohol beer. It was, it was um, 4X Gold. Oh, okay. Which is kind of looks a bit like urine. Tastes a bit like a mixture of urine and feces, I reckon, personally. <laughs> but anyway, a carton of that, and they'd just drink it the whole time while they were freehand screeding. So you can imagine how it would be like this, you know. Oh, you're choking. Laser, cross cross, screed to that one, screed down. Just. Really approximate shit, hey? <laughs> I drink the whole way through the day for its goal, so they said, because it was mixed drink beer, they figured they wouldn't get drunk. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's the logical, isn't it? That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not strong, is it? It's only 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't do that with craft beer. No. No. Especially uh, the Tasman that I like, Spring and Fern Tasman. Reserve. 6.5%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Charlie likes that one too. Yeah. Don't yeah. remember the night. You know there's a saying, it's called one Tasman, two Tasman, three Tasman, floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So right now they just clean the hose out with the last bit, and Ab's giving it a pat everywhere. Give him a bit of slope, eh, Ab? Just yep. a little bit, yeah. Yep. Yep. Don't be too far away till the water starts coming through. No, I just empty it now. Thanks, Burke. I've got to go, mate. Yeah, no, nice to meet you, man. You too, mate. Yep. yep. Thank you very much. No worries. I'll catch you later, two Arbadinos. Okay, okay, mate. Thanks. Hey, good to meet you, bud. Sweet, it's good to meet you too. Cheer. It was more important for me to get the studio built than to finish off the old farmhouse, which, as you can see, uh, is it's rotten. The windows are falling out, and the rats are running through the back of it. But this was more important, and I want to thank my patrons for paying for it. This is the back of the old farmhouse, and as you can see, me mate Ab has put in the posts and the bearers. So next week, Clint can come and drop our new studio straight on this. Times are hard times for so long. I get back on my feet again, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling strong. Back on my feet again. Back on my feet again Back on my feet again So Tristan's come to live with me He's my brother, and he's come to get back on his feet again. He's come from Wellington, and he's been in a corporate job for a long time. Years. How many years? About 18. 18? Well, 18, yeah, man. Yeah, and uh, right now we're going to go and walk the dogs, because he's learning how to be a countryman in the country life. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. That'd be a good song, eh? Walking the dog. That's a song, isn't it? Walking the dog. Song. How's it go? You know how it goes? I can't remember. Walking the dog? It's sort of like a walking... It, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Or is it like walking? Yeah, so I don't think there's a walking. There's sort a bass line walking bass line into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's into the song, yeah. yeah. Now you're walking the dog. Yeah. These guys uh, work from the morning time to about five each day and makes a lot of noise. Be good when it's over, it's been going for weeks now. It's certainly changed our landscape here at the old farm house from the veranda. That's the view, it's changed. It's a pretty noisy place to make music because we've got planes flying above all the time. We're in a uh, air path, they'll fly over here and we've got that going on and that's one of the reasons I'm building a sound studio. Uh, which you see in this video, Arb do his first bit. Uh, that's come a long way, and I'll bring you progressions of that as we move through it. But uh, having that go on and the aircraft, we tried to make some music outside before, and we couldn't, eh, bro? Good girl, Po. Oh, you good girl. She's getting old, she's getting grey. Oh, she's a good dog. You're a good dog, aren't you, eh? Hey? You're trying to put that rope on the inside, are you? It's so excited, isn't it? Well, I need to teach you how to do a bowline, bro. Those um, granny knots you're doing are not going to hold on tight. Yeah, that'll work for now. We don't have to worry about thinning the apples on the trees because the dogs do that. What do you got in your mouth, Po? Hey, what you got? Hey, Po? What's in there? Oh, an apple. Surprise, surprise. <coughs>
You want some taco? Yeah, don't say I don't look after you. You don't have a scratch on the water, are you? Okay, there's a couple. There's a couple. Here you go, Poe. There's a couple. Our apples are pretty organic because we don't spray them. We'll pace run around 100 mile an hour with this apple. <laughs> Just playing with it. Oh, Poe. Yeah, Bugsy. The country life's been really good for my brother. He's doing good, he's enjoying the gardening, and I think he's enjoying walking the dogs too. He likes Bigsy. You little apple muncher. He should be walking beside you, not in front, bro. Yeah, you're the boss, you keep him in there, that's good. You don't want a tight rope, you want a nice relaxed rope. Yeah, let him do his poo. Nice, healthy poos too, good boy. Can you say your poos are that healthy, bro? Absolutely, bro. Good. Okay, let's see him healing nicely beside you. That's good. Not in front, bro, just keep him beside there so he knows you're the boss. That's good, just there, yep. You'll get it. You'll get it. If he doesn't heal, just say get him behind. That's better. Good man. The entire bottom paddock is full of paradise ducks, heaps and heaps of them. Look at that. Well, Pace lifted them. Going past all of the baleage there. We're taking quite a bit off the paddock this year. Made hay and baleage. Right overhead. We don't care if the antis cry. If it flies, then it dies. Boom, boom. Duck tonight. Without a doubt, duck would be my favourite meat of all meats. That's the reason I have Pekin ducks. Paradise ducks love it here. Here, Pace. Pace, come. Ah, oh, good boy. Come on, Pace. Pace, come. Good dog. That's a good dog. Come on, Pace. Good boy. Oh, you're a good dog, eh? You're a good boy, yes you are. Well, sometimes, aren't you? Good boy. Not too far now to go, is it? The weather be cool, we'll be hunting you. Get in, Pace. Good dog, come in. Good boy. Good dog. Stay in, that's a good boy. You start me. About seven weeks ago, we had an incident. I had Bigsy, Pace and Poe all linked together. I was doing a 12k uh, run and walk and on the way back uh, there was a dog, a big pit bull running down by Ruby Bay, just loose on the beach. So I got off the beach because it was out of control, no one had it on a lead and I got up on the road and I kept on walking and I was walking around the road and then I saw a lady on the beach and I realised it was her dog and I shouted out to her, can you please put your dog on a lead, it's out of control and she completely ignored me. And then the dog came running up onto the road where I was and attacked Bigsy. Bigsy eventually managed to sort it out. I, I got bitten on my hand trying to separate it from Bigsy, but Bigsy ended up giving it a hard one on the nose and it, it, it tried to get away, but then it went underneath Pace and Pace went to get it. And Bigsy and Pace ended up fighting each other because they, they packed, as dogs will do, in the confusion. And the other dog then was off and I had then my three dogs fighting and the other dog had gone I shouted out the lady to help me because I needed I had three dogs fighting and I called out to her and her man that was walking with her and she just completely walked away pace come in pace good boy anyway I got uh, bitten I got cuts I've still got scars on my legs I I showed actually all the blood and gore to the dog ranger because I videoed a little bit of it and we tried to find out who that woman was because she was breaking the law anyway needless to say I have stopped walking my three dogs together I've kept them separate because it's just too difficult to control when you when dogs pack, whether they're packing on someone else's dog or or their, themselves, as will happen if they are confused by something outside coming in and, and getting them all revved up. And since then I've had uh, the nuts cut out of pace. He's got no more nuts and Biggs is going to get his cut out too. It is a problem with uh, my dogs. They're quite scrappy, but when another dog attacks them, it just makes it worse. So one of the reasons I'm keeping pace in from... Uh, my brother's got the got Bigsy down there. They're pretty good. Pace, go! 
He turns on a dime. See that? Good boy. Good dog. He listens. He's got good ears, Pace. Come on. Hey, guys, uh, we're going to do this, and we're going to tear into the garden today. Got a lot of gardening work. Just uh, a bit of an all-round video, a bit of fishing, a bit of ab, and a bit of my brother and music. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry about the long break for those subscribers that do follow the channel. Uh, I am back, and we'll have more stuff. But I uh, just need to have that break. I hope you understand. Anyway, I hope your home world's going well. Life's treating you fair. And uh, you're getting out and doing what you love, whatever that is, whether it's fishing, hunting, or just getting out in the garden, or just taking your dog for a walk. Be good, can't be good, be careful, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Good dog, Pine. Times are hard times for so long. I get back on my feet again, a feeling strong, a feeling strong, a feeling strong.